Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to have an object, or a note in this case, be delivered by the courier. So all we're going to do is place an object into a container and the courier is going to automatically pick that up and deliver it to the player. The first thing that we're going to need is a quest to handle the alias which is going to be pointed at and placed into the courier's chest. So if you don't have a quest then you'll need to go ahead and make one as I'm going to do now. But if you do have a quest of sorts that starts on the game starting uh, then you can go ahead and use that. So if you've got something like a dialogue quest or just a general quest um, that is going to be running when you want this to take place uh, then you can use that. You just put an alias on that and then you're going to reference that particular alias. Uh, so if I do right click and new, we're under character and quest. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. So DF quest test. Let's call it test quest. That T needs capitalizing. Oh, I'll do my heading. And if we go under misc for the type, uh, untick run once. We don't want this to run just once. And do OK. And then I just want to search for that quest again and I want to go back in. The reason that I confirmed it first before continuing is that you get a load more tab show up after you've done that. So then I'm going to go under quest alias, right click, new reference alias, give that a few seconds to load, it can be a bit slow. There we go. And then try and bring that back to the front, it's a bit glitchy. And I'm going to call this note alias ref. Now what you can do is specify a specific reference in the world but if you want to do what I'm going to do here and go ahead and create one uh, you can sort of just leave it blank and I'm going to tick optional up there. I'm going to go OK. And what we've got there is an alias which is going to be filled by the script that I will show you shortly. Now don't worry you don't need to know how to script. I do recommend that if you want to do a lot of scripting style things that you try and learn scripting. Um, but just for doing this I'll be providing a script in the comments down below anyway that you can use. It's a relatively basic one, nice and modular. Uh, so now that we've got our alias and our quest I'm going to go ahead click OK. And I'm just going to save that. Now I'm going to make my way to Riverwood where I've got a little test dummy that was being used for one of my other tutorials. I think it's a help message tutorial. And the way that I'm going to trigger this is just on activation of this dummy. Now that seems like a really stupid thing. Uh, I've already got my note in place that I'm going to let you see when we go in game. Uh, but you can have any event trigger this off. So this can happen in dialogue. It can happen when you activate something very specific. Um, there's There's many ways that you can sort of activate it. Uh, in my case I'm going to do it by activation. I've got a script here called DF script delivery note or deliver note I think it is. I'm going to open this in my external editor. If you would also like to edit your scripts and compile them in what I'm using here which is Sublime Text 3 uh, I do have a video on how to set that up that you can go ahead and check out just in case you're wondering what I'm using. Uh, so what I've got here, just going to explain it. Uh, essentially, this is going to run on Activate. Like I say, you could have this run off anything else, any other way that you want. The key parts that you want here are these two lines and obviously the properties. So the properties are going to be my note. You're going to reference the courier quest, which we don't need to mess with at all. And then you've got the note alias ref that I went ahead and created. Uh, so that's the actual alias. So we're going to link the alias with the book and then we're going to make things happen. So what happens here is it essentially forces the alias to a newly created note that it will place at the player's feet and it will instantly then take that note and it will add it to the courier's container which is being referenced in the um, in the courier quest. So really really simple. So again you don't really need to worry too much about that. We're just going to double click on here, go under my note and I'm going to search for one that I made earlier which is DF note dummy. I'm going to go to a note alias ref and I'm going to type in the name of my quest and then I'm going to select that particular ref, um, alias and then the WI courier you can allow that to autofill. Click OK, OK, OK and save. And then what that's going to do as soon as I go in game and activate this dummy uh, the courier will get the note placed into his inventory and hopefully once we have a change of location we go in and sell, come back out of it. Uh, he should deliver that note.
Okay, so here I am in game and I'm just going to go up to my dummy. We're not actually going to get any sort of confirmation. I'm just going to go ahead and activate him. So I've just clicked on him. It doesn't look like anything's happening, but what would have happened there, because it was on activate as an event, um, it has now put that note into the courier's container. So I'm just going to trigger the courier to appear, which is essentially on a, a location change as long as you're in a village or something like that. And if I go outside, he should just show up and deliver the note. So you'll see he spawned because he's noticed I've that there was a note Got something I'm supposed to in deliver. his container. Your hands only. What is it now, mother? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. And if I go into my inventory, I've got dummy note. You touched my dummy. Please stop touching my dummy, Barney Blue. And there we go. So you can use that for all sorts of things. It doesn't have to be a note. It can reference anything. And like I say, it can be a reference that's already in the world and you can specifically point to it. Uh, but my script is essentially uh, creating one at my feet and then it's linking that to our alias on our quest that starts on Game Startup and it's putting it in this container. And essentially the courier's own quest and scripting will do all of the rest. And that is just about it for this video, so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to see more videos in the future such as this one. You can also go ahead and support my work if you so wish over on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.